Inter visitations is really just a fancy word for being in each other's classrooms. For me, in my time teaching, I have found that some of the best professional development I have had has just been from going into other people's classrooms and trying to take little pieces away that I can then use in my own classroom to make my own practice better. And so being able to be in somebody else's classroom, see what they do, see how they interact with the kids, what activities go over well, gives us new ideas and it helps us improve what we're doing. As we saw a need for uh, teachers to be able to have a space to voluntarily learn from each other in classrooms and watch each other teach. This year I've had the opportunity to go into six different classrooms. And even when, as a science teacher, I stepped into that middle school music class, which was totally out of my comfort zone, there were pieces of it that I could take and think, how can I take what this teacher is doing and incorporate that little nugget into my classroom? To have that outside voice, uh, a non-judgment outside voice, one that wants, uh, wants you to succeed as much as you do, uh, is super, super helpful to have in the classroom. The process is really based on positive feedback. It's how can you take something out of their classroom to help yourself improve. And for me, that's really empowering that I get to go in and look at students, I get to look at the teacher and kind of see where I, my, I can take things for myself. Um, and then people come into my classroom and hopefully they do the same. I think for me, an ultimate takeaway that I have is that this is far more valuable than I thought it was going into it initially. I think it creates a more collaborative environment, right? Far too often teachers are nervous about somebody coming in and I'm always being assessed and what if I'm doing something wrong? And what I like about the inner visitations is there is this culture of, we're gonna celebrate what you're doing well. Inter visitation allows you to be vulnerable, it allows other people to come in um, and with an attitude of wanting to learn and wanting to get better. Uh, and so it, it, it's gone really, really well. And we're all doing great things. It's just we're sometimes stuck in our own bubbles. And so being able to go and see something that's a little bit different that we wouldn't normally see allows us to try new things ourselves. The ultimate goal for me of this team is to create comfort for both the students and the teachers of being having other adults in the room and m normalizing it. While going into classrooms is great and seeing those things, it's really important that before that happens, there's a meeting that takes place between the people who are going into classrooms and being observed. Start the meeting with culminating our previous inner visitations and talking with the people we visited and what strategies did we learn from each other, what questions did we have. Why did you seat the kids the way you seated them? How often are they seated that way? And that conversation is really important for the process. And then we switch up partners again, and we repeat the whole process. And I think the more we do it, and the more people get comfortable, and the more it just becomes natural. Welcome to NCPA, this is something that we do.